right, 934. Now, tomorrow is the kickoff of Moss Basket Days at Paul's Market in Apple Valley. It is so popular. 800 people are expected to come and plant their own hanging baskets. I mean, it's wildly popular. And best of all, the Paul's folks promise you a foolproof basket. I found out some tips that will help any gardener get a greener thumb. Welcome to Paul's Market in Apple Valley. You know, in about a week or so, all these indoor greenhouse racks will be filled with planted moss baskets, more than a thousand of them. It's a huge tradition here at Paul's Market. People come back year after year to do it. Why? Well, it's really simple. Your first stop is here at the Idea Center. So you pick out which basket appeals to you and you get your roadmap. Then you go ahead and pick out the plants that are called for in the recipe. Thank you so much, Colton. And you take it over there and you start planting. Now, you need the right soil. You've got this um, all wired, right, Gary Paul? We do have it all wired. It's, uh, we want to use a nice soil that, that uh, drains well and uh, will hold, holds moisture but drains well. So you got a nice, you have some perlite in there, you have some bark, uh, everything that, uh, that you'd want to make sure that your basket uh, has got the nutrients in that with a charge of fertilizer in there. So, Is it possible to overwater something like this or does it just oh, drain so well? No, absolutely. You can definitely okay. overwater it. You have to... There are many ways I could kill this. There's a lot of ways to kill a plant. There's a thousand ways to kill a plant, but we, we try to take the, you know, the, the guesswork out of things. And by using the right soil in the, in the right container and putting it in the right spot in your house, there's no way, I mean, that's, we're 90% foolproof there. Okay. So. And you know this because you actually plant sit these plants for the next two months or however long it takes. And that's where the part where you not needing a green thumb comes in. They do all the plant sitting for you. One other consideration though, when you're building the basket, you like to have three elements, the thriller, the filler, and the spiller. Please explain what that means. Well, see in this basket here, what we're gonna use for our thriller is somewhat of a spike plant here. We'll put the spike in the middle. Our filler plants, we're gonna use some impatience, some dragon wing uh, begonias in there. And then for our spiller to come down and drape over the sides, we're gonna plant uh, some ivy and, and some glacier ivy hedera and uh, put that so it drapes over the sides and kind of gives you that, uh, that effect when it's hanging up you have a, you know, your plant is nice and full and it drapes down towards the ground. Nice to have a little height in the center, you fill it in, and then you have spilling over the side. See, that's how you make it look professional. Gary, you've unlocked the eternal mystery to making a professional looking basket. A little height in the middle, you fill it in, and then you have something creeping over the side. Moss basket days are at Paul's Market, March 2nd, 5th, and 9th. So popular, reservations are recommended. Back to you. Back to me. Their baskets <laughs> range in price from $65 for a 16-inch basket, $85 for a 20-inch basket.